Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 15. The objective is to multiply non-unit fractions by non-unit fractions. That means that the numerator will not be a 1. This lesson covers multiple standards. This is problem 1 from the homework. The problem reads 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So when I look at this problem, I know that I can replace the of with a multiplication sign. So I can say 2 thirds times 3 fourths. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can simply multiply across or you can draw a model. I will show you both ways. First let's multiply across. I know that I can multiply my numerators across. 2 times 3 gives me 6. 3 times 4 gives me 12. 6 twelfths can be simplified to 1 half because 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now I also, I could have gone in and I could have cross simplified and I could have said, well I know that 3 and 3 have a factor in common which is 3. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 3 one time and then when you multiply 2 times 1 would give me 2 and 1 times 4 would give me 4 so I'd have 2 fourths which is also equal to 1 half. So we're saying that 1 half is our answer. Now I will show you how to draw a model. This says 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So first I'm going to partition my box into fourths. Now it says 3 fourths, so I'm going to just shade in 3 out of the 4 boxes. Now it says 2 thirds, so now I'm going to partition horizontally into thirds. and I need to show two-thirds. Let's use a different color. So we're going to show two-thirds. I like to put an X. That would be one-third. And that would be two-thirds. So how many boxes are shaded twice? How many boxes have both a red and a green mark in it? Well, here's one two, three, four, five, six. Six out of how many altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six out of twelve, which is equal to one half. So no matter how I solve it, I get one half as an answer. Let's try another one. This equation reads three-fourths times four-fifths. Let's solve it in three different ways. Cross multiply, cross simplify and with a model. So if we multiply across 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 5 is 20. Can I reduce that? Well yes, I know that 4 goes into both of these numbers. Twelve divided by 4 is 3, 20 divided by 4 is 5, I can't reduce it any further. I get 3 fifths as an answer. Now let's solve it where we try to cross simplify. That is where we look at the numerators and the denominators, or the first floor and the second floor, and we see if any of those numbers have a factor in common. When I look at this, I know that the 4 and the 4 have a number in common, and that would be 4. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 4 one time. When I multiply across, look at that. I get three-fifths. Now let's try the area model. Let's try the model and make sure you understand this. Three-fourths times four-fifths. So first I'm going to partition my box into fifths. And I need to shade in four-fifths. One. Two, three fifths, four fifths. So that would be one fifth, 
two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. So you can see I shaded in four fifths. Now I'm going to partition my box horizontally into fourths. And I'm getting these numbers using the denominator. So let's partition it into fourths. And I have to shade in three fourths. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And as I said earlier, I like to make X's over it. So here's one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. Now I count how many boxes are shaded twice. How many have the red and the green? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have twelve out of how many altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twelve out of twenty. And again, I know I can divide both of these numbers by four, and I get three fifths as my answer.